Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft. In today's episode, we're continuing where we sort of left off with the last one. We are truly going to be trying to figure out a way to get one robot in every tier. Uh, currently, the tiers we are missing mostly is a true tier 7, not this. If it loads, there we go, the happy 2015 and a tier 1 robot. So we do need to start deleting some of our current robots to actually make that a reality. So I think we're going to be going into Grinder here, which I have mentioned I have become a bit more disdain. I've got more disdain for this robot now than love, sadly. So Grinder, you've served us well and you've actually done very, very well even with the rail nerf. But I'm afraid your service has now came to an end. So let us say farewell to Grinder, our over-tiered Rayleigh friend, and we'll start production of a tier 1 robot, which will take the place of a permanent ro spot in our um, in our menagerie of robots. We will have one in every tier, so and threats, or so help me lord. So, I've got two schools of thought, because honestly, oh, oh my word, that was never even in the middle? <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Okay, there we go, we're actually in the middle now. I think that's a sign that we needed to do this. So, ignoring the coughing fit there, which I hopefully edited out, um, I've got two schools of thought in my head about this. We're either going to go with a quite small, adorable robot similar to Turt, but with um, our Tier 2, but with um, wheels rather than tracks, or we're going to go all out and have a massive monolith of a structure. In fact, we'll even call it monolith if that comes to be. So I think, honestly, the monolith structure would be the most interesting, if only for the namesake, if it must be brutal. So one, two, three, one, that's, that's the middle. So three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. So that's one, two, three, four. Three on one side, one in the middle. Three on one side, one in the middle. One, two, up, two, three. So the idea is it's going to have a peak in the centre which will house the guns or whatever we're actually going to have. It will be hollow for the most part and the seat will be there. I guess that is pretty much the idea I'm going to go with here. So let's, just, let's try out that. A kind of monolith structure. So basically a pyramid kind of structure and see how that actually pans out. Hopefully it will pan out well. It might not, honestly. Now is that a square? Seems to be a square, yes. If I just attach them there, would it be a rectangle? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then the middle, so it's six plus six plus one. Uh, one, two, three, four, six. Yep, so that should be a perfect square. Let's just see if we can do that. Of course, P flops aren't really an issue anymore since I have reached level 100 recently, so that shouldn't be holding us back. So I did try something like this a long time ago, but it's actually P flops that caused the issue in the end. Now, we already know one problem with this design I'm doing here, is that we will get stuck on every single slight incline ever. But so is the uh, the price we have to pay for, for our love of designs. So, how are we going to do this then? Is this going to go straight up? Would that be the working way of doing this, or no? We'll see. Let's have one flat section first. We're not going in just yet, we'll go in in the next tier up. Hopefully this will turn out okay. Like I say, I've not really planned this out much. I've just kind of hit the record button because I'm feeling a bit better. So hopefully this goes well and doesn't require us to skip around too much and hope for the best. Uh, nope, like that. There we go. I'm also assuming that mass white blocks are probably better than a few brown blocks. Let's see what the armor is on these. Um, tier 1. 88 armor for 1 ranking versus... 50 ranking for 50 armor. So yes, technically speaking, you can get more armor out of less ranking. So almost all of our current ranking is coming from our wheels. So let's downgrade our wheels a little bit. Okay, let's just make sure this actually moves as it is, because I've got a horrible feeling that that will the skirt it's currently got might actually clip completely and not and not allow us the movement I want. So let's find out. Oh, no, no, okay, on flat surfaces, that's absolutely fine. It kind of, it almost, looks, it almost looks like it's hovering, honestly, from the outside. Uh, yeah, okay, that seems to be working. Oh, could we go up a Yeah, okay, yeah, that's absolutely no issue whatsoever. So there's no fear there that our structure will not move in the correct ways. So the next one is going up. We're going to want some points in the middle for it to actually attach to. 
just give it a bit of extra armor there, and that'll just attach around, and then we'll use prisms to make it look py very um, pyramidy from the outside as well. I am still going to use the term monolith though, purely because I am a Warhammer 40k nerd, and the monoliths from the Necrons look amazing. So that's exactly what I've got in my head. But of course, that will probably look nothing like what the actual structure will end up looking like. So how am I going to do these? Ah, let's see, I can just do... Ah, okay, yeah, that's fine, okay. Carry on as it is. It doesn't have to be all the way up, because monoliths do have a flat top with a kind of, like, almost a um, clawed structure going around it, the central gem. Uh, we probably won't be able to make a gem, however, but still. Okay, so if, you've, so if you don't have an idea of what I've got in my head currently, just Google Necron Monolith. And that will pretty much tell you what I've got in my head. It's going to look nothing like that, but that's kind of the ultimate goal if everything worked out well. Already on 323 P flops, my word. So we, I think we've already gone over the initial cap you have. How many P flops do you have at level 1? I can't quite remember. It's under 400, I'm fairly certain, but is it under 300? I don't really know. It's been some time since I've been in tier 1, honestly, even on the um, tiering up um, accounts. Ah, the things you forget as you age and level. And then there we go. So I assume we're going to use one of these here as well. Uh, oh dear, of course that won't... Ah, now it becomes an issue. How do I do this one then? I could do that. And that actually doesn't look too bad. It does... That does kind of make it look almost like a Christmas cake. A, a wedding cake, rather. One of those tiered wedding cakes you get, the um, pretty standard one. The ones that 99% of um, weddings kind of have. I mean, that's okay. It's not the most awful look in the world, but it's not really what I want. Where is that block? There it is. The rogue block has been destroyed. Okay, no. Okay. We could try and have a land ship, honestly, because the land ship is classified... Is it, is it over a thousand blocks? I'm not quite sure which, what the rules are according to the wiki. It's been a while since I've looked at that as well, since I made Hog, which is now 1,100 and something. Um, hmm, how else am I meant to do that corner, then? Ah, the, the chassis cubes just don't work. So how big they are, look. That doesn't work. Unless, maybe... Oh! No. No, that looks... That looks arguably worse. Uh, actually, I quite like... You know, the more I look at it, the more I like it. Because, A, it doesn't ha it's, it is hiding the plateau. Which, of course, is that block there. But also, it's kind of looking bulky and bulbous and quite menacing. Also, also, it, that could be a possible weapon platform later on. So, actually, there's a lot of benefits to that. So, I think I will stick with that just for now. Because I can... And thus I will. Okay, there we are. Okay, next tier up. Let's see how that looks next. I think... Uh, how many more tiers up against? I'm going to say... Possibly one more after this, but no no more than that, definitely. And I think the centre where my seat is should be a bit better protected. So I might... Oops, Daisy. So I should consider um, armouring that up. Possibly the actual seat... Where the seat is actually attached to, but also around it giving it some depth would probably um, help out quite a bit as well. Now here's an issue, how do I do this then? Do I do, do, I do the same again? I mean, it looks okay, it's not the best, it's certainly not the worst. Hmm, I feel like I say that far too often, it's not the best. For some, t I want the best! Will somebody please give me the best one day? Who knows, perhaps if I'm a good boy I'll get the best. Also, this is really shiny on the highest um, settings, because I normally don't actually record on Beautiful, because I think it looks a bit too... Um, is it called Beautiful? On Fantastic, just because I find it looks a bit too slick. It looks a bit too shiny in the end um, the end recording. But I thought I'd give it a try now, since I haven't done it in a while, and yeah, I can see the issues of this. Hmm. One more? I think one more would be good, and then that would be that. And we've got quite a lot of um, rankings to play with, so we could consider actually armouring the thing up with you no know, proper armour, not just white chassis cubes. Or making it solid. Oh my word, imagine if this thing was solid, not hollow. Oh, that would be such a nuisance to take out. I love it. 
I love it. Okay, there we go. Monlith will live! And it'll be amazing, and everyone will bow down to Monlith as their true saviour in Tier 1. The Tier 1 Messiah. Okay, there we go. And one more there, because why not? And, yeah, I think that's a good height. I don't, I, don't, I don't want it any higher, because I do want to use the top as a weapon platform, so that's something I do want. Now, the monolith, first of all, is green. Generally speaking, depending on the, um... On the... Oh, what's it called? It's not a clan. The dynasty it comes from. Also, it's a bit higher than this, but I do want the spikes still at the top. That would look stupid. Okay, let's leave it loose for now. How much do I fill in? Obviously, filling in, I'd say this level would be the most important, as this would protect this seat. But also, just doing this to... To uh, to have more attachment points to the outer shell, because we could very easily lose the middle, and then the entire structure simply crumples into nothingness, despite all the blocks we've used. I mean, that's a problem with being a hollow, though, honestly. Same issue there. So I think perhaps literally filling it in might just be a good idea. Not... We don't have to be too careful to make sure every single block's filled in. Just uh, where we can, where it goes green, just shove a block. Makes it a little bit harder to destroy, makes it a bit more of a nuisance in the current tier we're in. The problem is we haven't got much ranking left, so my offensive capabilities are getting worse and worse every block we place. But having this many blocks in tier 1 does make me a happy potato. Which is the important thing when, when, when one is sick. Being as happy as potato as possible. And I can be a happy potato from time to time, particularly when I have huge robots to play with. And murder people with horribly. Uh, yeah, okay, and then we just do this. Which also upgrade the attachment. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's not completely filled in, but at least gives some protection to the driver seat. The, the pilot sh seat, I should say. But I think one more should do it, and yeah, I may get asymmetrical here, but that doesn't really matter too much, honestly. They're white blocks at the end of the day. This is this is more this is more for protection against plasmas than anything else. Just as plasmas are quite a scary um, prospect against uh, low tier robots, which use white blocks. Okay, there we are. Now, I'm not sure if you can even bring rails. I was gonna say rails as well. But I'm not sure if you, you can bring them into tier one, can't you? I'm fairly certain you can. You just can't bring many of them or particularly high tier. You, you you have to have the basic ones. So, so they're not actually that good, from what I remember, anyway. Of course, rails have been buffed significantly recently, so that could all be completely false now. Okay, there we are. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a bit of protection in the center. Essentially a living cuboid structure at the moment. So how many tier 2 guns could we get on this robot? Ah, now that's not good. Just two tier 2 guns? Really not good enough. How many tier 1s then? Um... We could have a tier 1 gun spam, honestly, and just have that as the weaponry. Ah, these don't stick out as far as I thought they'd done it. Um, hmm, now this is going to be a peculiar, a peculiar set of events. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this, then? That is the question, and the answer is I don't know, honestly. Ooh! That's pretty there. But no, that's not the purpose. Haha, <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to do here. So clearly we need more guns than just this. That's pretty darn weak. Oh! Oh, okay then. That works. That does work. Still need one more though to make it a full gun bed. Um, we could just use a front mounted, I suppose. That'd be quite easy just to shove on the front like so. How about like that? I mean, it's equal, it's... Functional, it looks terrible, but there we are. Okay, I think that's actually okay. Um, how much armor does the prisms give? Uh, 50. So he's actually. Sorry, I meant to the windows. So he's actually identical armor. So what I'm going to do just for my own sake. So I want to. Do something like that. With the staticky old windows. Okay, oh no, okay. So offensively, it's pretty darn poor. De defensively, this should do decently. I mean, I can't see an easy way, really, to destroy this outright. Ooh, how do we go all the way? Really not following the monolith look at all at this stage, but I think it was, it was predetermined that that wasn't going to be the case anyway. So let's just go full-out cybery then. 
have the window stripes go all the way down. There we go, and then we use the windshield cube. Like so. Oops, there's anything that's going inside. I said not inside, there we go. Oh, that, that static effect is so irritating. I think I'll have to um, put the graphics back down again, which so doesn't show it quite as much. The pixely static of annoyance. I'll admit I'm actually quite fond of this. This actually... I like the aesthetic. It's weak as hell, and I don't, I don't see it's doing particularly well, but it is Tier 1. And if you take Tier 1 seriously, you're not playing Robocraft correctly, in my opinion. Tier 1 is a place of fun and joy where the new players meet and um, and the older players bring forth stupid designs like this. Really? I've run out of windshield cubes. Well, guess what then? I'll buy hundreds as vengeance for this atrocity. There we go. And let's go in practice, make sure it actually moves. And if it does, I guess we'll just go straight into a game with Monolith. Which I guess technically is a SMG cruiser. I have no idea how, how to title this video because this is not an SMG cruiser. That is actually very big. Actually, that is bigger than I thought it was. Okay, that explains why we can't fit many guns. Oh, tier one guns sound adorable now. Look how adorable my weak shots are. Look how little damage they do against even brown armor, my word. Ah. Uh. Also, I, I'm, I'm so used to them tank tracks now. I was trying to turn by just going left and right. You know what? I don't care. We're here to just run into the enemy and see how long it takes them to actually kill us. Honestly, a few good shots would just bore us out and kill us instantly. But you know what? This will be enjoyable. Oh, God. Look how weak we are. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is actually terrible. Okay. Well, Sir and Sir Eds, I'm sticking to it. Back in a second with our first match with the newly christened Monolith. My new tier 1 robot. <laughs> oh my word, this is going to go so badly. Okay, here we are in our first match. And now I see how big we are compared with other tier 1 robots. Oh my. Yep, we have definitely gone overboard in size. I honestly thought I was making this a little bit smaller. And this does explain my surprise to the fact that we had so little ranking to play with for our guns. On the upside, on the enemy's team, there is only one plasma, so hopefully that won't be against us, and we'll have a nice happy day using our completely useless guns to pepper them with volley upon volley of shots. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, an enemy! we turned round, a turning is atrocious! A starter enemy! We, we, we should be able to beat this! Yeah, we've got a kill! I think that's a good start, don't you? A turning on this, though, is very, um... I can feel that the skirt is grinding on the floor, let's just say that. Oh, the plasma's over there. <laughs> okay, we need to do something about this turning. <laughs> Into the wall for the millionth time. Why is that so funny to me? It's my failure, I should be laughing. You should be laughing, can't they? Yes, little fellows, run! Oh, you can... Wow, it's only bored straight into me. Who are we firing at? Ah, there's an enemy at our gates. We turn to fight them. We turn. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's the correct way. Well done, Monolith. High five to you. Come on, Monolith, we can do this. Faster! I mean, I think we've won regardless, but faster anyway. I want to help. I want to hit them with my sword. I honestly just spotted into the air and hoping for the best and it actually got... Oh! 10,000 damage! We just hit something very critical on the enemy, it seems. Very lucky shot on our part. Oh, there's several enemies. This is terrible. Uh, who's got more health? So who's got the worst armor? That's who, who, who I should really be going for. Regardless, we have stopped them. Can we get that little fellow? Nope, he's hiding behind him. Darn it, we can't quite hit the little guy. I'm stuck! I'm stuck. I'm completely stuck. I think I'm going to die here because my pilot seat is exposed. Oh, we just died. But... We did ensure victory, and actually now I saw there's three of them there. We may not have won that, honestly, so I'm quite happy. So things we've learned. My seat is not well protected enough. It hasn't got enough blocks around the seat area, and it seems to be able to be bored into a little bit too easily. So perhaps just on the front, if we could just 
fill in this section, maybe. It wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. What we could do is sacrifice one of our SMGs, since we do have we do have an overabundance of SMGs. We only need six, and we've got seven. So if we just take away one of those, we should be able to re-armor up the center a little bit more with the spare um, ranking, just to give this a little bit more protection. Because honestly, I didn't feel that we we could actually take that much damage, which is a bit surprising, honestly, considering we are freaking huge. Uh, yeah, just that, just yeah, exactly, just. What I've done here is pretty much exactly what I was talking about. Just a little bit more around the seat area, just so this area here is a little bit chunked out. A few more shots of protection. I mean, saying that, I was being peppered by three different people. It did take them a while. Just I was hoping for a little bit longer than a while. Okay, we need to remove one. That's fine. Just leave it like that. Leave it like it is. A little bit, um... Non... Oh, dear. That's not good. Oh, yeah. That's not good. Oh, okay. See an issue there as well. Could we remove the middle wheels? That might actually help with turning. Honestly, and it does give us a lot of ranking again to play with. So yeah, I think that's going to be what we're going to do. Let's just fill these in. I'm not even going to test it. I'm just going to go straight into a game. If we can't move, then we give the enemy a free kill, and we're helping out tier ones everywhere by hindering our, by hindering the tier ones on our side. Mm. Okay, I do see an issue there. I care little. I care little for, for this issue. There we are, and just make sure we fill in this as well. Okay. So we've essentially blocked in our seat a little bit more than it was, because it's pretty out in the open, honestly. Which, which does explain why we got just eradicated from the front so quickly. There we go. Okay, that should be a lot better now, hopefully, if I'm lucky. Ah, uh, we could always just add a bit of armor here and there, just... Oh! Wow, we hit rank 2 a while back and I didn't even notice. My word, okay, should have been paying attention there. So remove the blocks we just added, which sadly is the front shell, but... Um, look at the ranking go up and down with this one. Why does that one block add so much? Oh, because it's saying, that's the last warning, isn't it? The If you add one more block, you're going to the next tier warning thing. Uh, let's just try and add a bit of armor here then. Try and even it out a little bit. Um, is that there? No. Okay, so actually there would be better. Okay. Let's get into another match. Hopefully that'll do a little bit better, and hopefully the movement won't be too affected. Our damage is very poor, though. Honestly, we need. I am considering. I think. I think off camera, I will consider shrinking this thing down by perhaps two blocks on each side, just so we can fit in the tier two SMGs. Because honestly, tier one SMGs are just so weak. Tier one SMG, 98 damage. Tier two is a full 204. Oh my word! I didn't lose that that much. Yeah, we need to do something about that. So, back in a second. And we are back on the cursed map, no less. It seems that um, the cursed map will always be a part of my videos. And if not, the video is destined to be a complete failure. So, let's get going. Every time I start the match, I do seem to quickly realise how big we actually are. I do think that perhaps te um, toning it back a bit, going for more of a... Um, yeah, perhaps about three blocks smaller each way might be the best idea. And since then, we can be completely uh, solid rather than hollow. So we actually have some more protection. Because honestly, I don't think this is as good as it could be. But I must say, I love how we look. I adore the look of this robot more and more each time I see it. So I am very well nice day as it is, honestly, knowing me. Oop. Oh, someone just gave up. We're firing at someone. Him. Ah, he's dead. I... Clearly was the inspiration of his death. He was so scared of me, he didn't fight back correctly, and then that ended up in his defeat. There you got a few spots on at least. Uh, don't really want to long range battle with this robot. So I'm going to wait for them to come up, and hopefully our guys will take the brunt of it. We can be a bit sneaky. Because this robot is so clearly built to being stealthy and sneaky. Oh dear. Teammates, get off your back. Please, no one be coming around this way. Okay, good. I look like the back seemed quite frail, so we're going to go for him. Actually, no, we'll go for the guy with the white armor, so we can actually do damage to that. There we go, okay, did some damage, actually participated in this match. Let's go after him before he completely guts our teammates. He seems quite a good robot, despite being quite small. Uh, I am being gunned down by two sources, though. Most of my guns are gone, and I'm flipping out! Yeah, this did not go as planned. Oh dear. <laughs> ha! 
Well, I, I've already did go as planned. Look how long it takes them to kill me. This is the purpose, but I meant to tank for them. Oh, let me see that robot. Yes, tier 2 SMGs and green armor, is that? Yeah, that didn't. I didn't stand a chance. How many shots do you think it takes to take out one green armor with these crappy tier 1 SMGs? I imagine quite a few, honestly. How many would it take? Still got to kill some, quite pleased. Uh, tier 1 SMG, it's 98 damage. And the chassis, green chassis, is over 100. Okay, yeah, it's going to take some beating. But it's not it's not a direct one-to-one -one correlation either. This is actually even worse than it looks. Oh, I think one last match. Let's see how it does. Maybe we can do okay and redeem our name. Regardless, honestly, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm happy I haven't got an overpowered robot. And it feels quite fun to play as, so I'm not really overly concerned about its performance, because it looks awesome, in my humble opinion, and that's all that really matters when you're the one playing it, honestly. One thing I did think of is, what this look like? Uh, no, I like those being part of the basic kind of armor aesthetic. Okay, so back in a second for our last match. Okay, final match. We have a rail on each side, which is a first. I think I'm not sure about last game. I don't think we had a rail. We could have actually. Now I think about it, maybe. But but regardless, this time both sides definitely have a rail, which is going to be an interesting um, turn of events. As we've only really seen plasmas and SMG so far. Wow, he's getting bounced around like a little toy. Okay, so where is the bulk of our guys going? It seems that we're splitting up in every direction, which is not really what I wanted to see, honestly. Um, I guess the middle seems to be a viable option. There's two of us there, at least. An enemy SMG already gutting one of our guys, sadly. Not the best start ever, but still. Ah, I can see him there's behind the shield. Oh, there he goes. Just fell off the side. He's, he's going to be caught by one of our guys down there. Excellent. Okay, a lot of enemies down there. The rail is up high, which is a bit of a concern. Oh, I can see him there. He's a floaty little bugger, okay. I can't really see him very well, which is a bit of an issue. Oh, he's on the ground now. What kind of robot is he then? Clearly he can fly, but I wonder what kind of flyer. Be nice if he stays down there. I doubt one rail shot will take me out. Okay, he's over there, he's rolling this way, okay. Our SMG is taking damage from the SMG in addition to the rail soon, so we should go and help him really. We might actually be able to help. Oh, oh, he's getting gutted. He's getting completely gutted. Okay, there's more than one robot there. That is, isn't where I want to be at all. And there's the little rail bugger. We didn't actually hit it. Oh, yeah, we did. We hit both of them. Okay. Well, kamikaze! Yay, that looks sexy. There we go. Excellent. Oh, hello. How are you doing, sir? Let's hold down fire because I'm tiny. Oh, I think I took out some of his propulsion. It seems to slow down quite a bit then. Yeah, you're not going to hit me while you're spinning, sir. Although you look quite close to be being able to, honestly. Nope. <laughs> not even close. Yeah, I didn't think our movement would be needed there. Let's go and see if we can um, finish him off. We did do quite a bit of damage to him. Hopefully we've crippled him somewhat. He seems to have lost his basic control. Even if he hasn't lost his, um, his propulsion completely. Oh, there's a lot more enemies than there are allies left. I don't fight either of them, honestly. So I'm going to not fire. As, as, as if I attacked one, the other one would then instantly come to defend the other. Perhaps going to cap might be actually the best idea for our team. Oh! Not good, we've been spotted, so there's no choice but to fight back. Um, still don't like our odds, honestly. I'm going to hide down here so we, so we get at least a few seconds one-on-one. -on -one. He's coming round. Okay, so is he going to be the first one to fight us? Make sure they're all spotted. We've no, there's only two teammates left. Well, on the upside, we are distracting them so they're not capping our base. And we're about to kill. Yes, two kills. Okay. Nope, lost all our guns. Okay, show him our ass. He's got the most health. Can we. Oh, wh wh what happened to our teammate? Oh, our teammate died. Sad face. Okay. Can we survive until the end at least? I have so many blocks, you simply can't get through them. Ha <laughs> ha! Glorious. Yeah, tier 2 SMGs I think are needed and um, tier 2, uh, well, well, tier 1 armor 
blocks to hold them in place, I think is what we're doing. But for now, certain threats aren't going to cool it. My throat is about to explode again. I hope you've enjoyed this episode regardless. It's a little bit of a silliness, just a bit of um, experimenting on what I want to be eventually in Tier 1. And honestly, it's not too far off. Just needs to be a bit smaller and a bit more elite than it is. Just because right now, I don't mind being weak, but we're almost non-functional in uh, most fights. Our weapons and such have been knocked off so easily because of the low tier armor and low depth. As you're saying that, maybe it would be better than simply push these all back one. As then at least they have a um, one level of armor. Actually, that, that makes complete sense. I should have done it earlier. Okay, well, so and so, hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Likes, comments, favorite shares, all that good stuff is very, very welcome. Helps out me and helps the channel out so much. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Do take care and have a nice day.